beautiful soul thanks for tuning into this reading and i hope that you are well so we're taking a look at your love reading and i feel like um there's something in the making for you there is something delightful i am hearing in the making for you cancer in your, in this love reading for you according to the tarot cards there's a true love energy with the king of cups energy that was showing up so the king of cups on the bottom of the deck and the ace of cups that was sh um, showing up consistently while shuffling. I know a true real love is here. Uh, but I feel like you don't know or there's something that you're not aware of. I also saw the death card and the seven of swords. So some planning but it's like be, be, um, you're not like aware of what is going on. Yeah, the empress card is the first card. I'm getting dream. You're someone's dream come true, someone's dream person, someone loves you, you're naturally beautiful, you are the empress, you are everything. Someone just wants to come around and shower you with love and appreciation and adoration. You're fertile, you're wealthy, you're healthy, you're just the whole package, you're wholesome, you're like bread, you're like how we feel about getting a freshly baked warm bread and then we put a slice of butter and butter and you know if you if you are from the culture that loves want fresh bread that's the energy like fresh bread with like some steamed cabbage and everything you're like wholesome and nutritious as this empress guide you're just the whole package you're kind you're caring you're fertile you're very attractive you are creative you're um nurturing you're independent you're militant you think for yourself so this is the whole package and you're like you're royal too you wear your crown well you are beautiful like someone is giving you a lot of attention you may be quite comfortable where you are notice the whole heap of cushions cushions around her right here in your solace and someone just someone wants to like someone wants to start a family with you if you're feminine energy someone wants to plant seeds and you know what I'm saying? And grow with you. But this person, they are feeling like you, they have got to put in a lot of work to do so. But um, you are getting this person's attention. So if you're masculine, you're an emperor. And there's a divine empress that's like looking at you. You're like their main focus right now. Mm -hmm. Because you are the one that they want. Is the energy. So it could be a water sign, an earth sign. So Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio or um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air Sign or Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Oh my goodness, this is your second card. Like I knew someone is coming around with this amazing offer for you because you are everything. I hear idol. You are everything. Someone is coming with a proposal for you, for sure, beautiful soul. You're just getting so much attention. You could be getting recognition online. You may just start a business online and it's like very successful. It could be a skincare business. Maybe people admire your natural skin, your beautiful skin, your hair, stuff like that. And people want to work with you. So you're getting compliments. You're getting a raise as well. Yeah, and you are manifesting this and attracting this beautiful energy within your life. There, You could check out the peacock energy to see what the peacock energy means for you in this time. I think it means you're just radiant and beautiful, like it's hard to not see you. <laughs> I'm seeing the um like the tail of her dress. It's giving me a peacock energy. And peacock energy is like you may be also open to dating at this point in time. So it's like you may be at very you're just so attractive and like there's someone that is seeing your foot your the colours of you. Wow. So we're gonna look at that ace of diamonds. To see, there's this and like money coming around to you. You are like a divine empress. Yeah, wisdom. Someone wants to. I want to say breed, but I don't want to use that word. But it's the word that keeps coming. That's what someone wants to do with you, like impregnate here. And I also feel like it is the the, the divine, like your ancestors will look. How happy and look he is to feel like like imagine this is his daughter um here and she's like finally conceiving and creating a world of her own you know generations of her own here and some of you you're gonna have two to three youths all right and they're all gonna be like sanctified and blessed um someone may even be a single parent of multiple youths and like you have you bear the world in your fertile space so you're spending time healing your fertility as well someone may have lost or let go off of but something that you lost is coming back to you 
right it's time for you to put an end to something so that a new beginning can start you're burying something old and this could be a person i'm getting like a part a person from your past or past experiences so this is what is coming in with this ace of diamonds card wisdom and um a new beginning yeah there's someone that wants to come and speak with you but they feel insecure they they're gonna do it though it's like this person is going against their own odds to come talk with you is the energy so it's like their legs are heavy but they are still moving um against the resistance that they also feel so maybe they're shy or they feel some um whatever they feel they're gonna break that barrier because you are so compelling and so attractive like this person they have to speak with you and they're moving in faith is the energy so yeah this person is about to break mountains down anything that was blocking them if they were a shy person they're gonna give that up just to speak with you if they're naturally like if they're sometimes insecure they're gonna change that just so that they can they're gonna embrace that or step into courage or face their fears just to come talk to you someone wants to give you their telephone number too i hear idol or idolly yeah, someone is looking for you, the page of one. Someone is thinking that you're sexy or you're a beast or you are just glowing. Someone is like, tone it down, like calm down or something like that. Right? Um, But you may not know. I'm getting a fish. Imagine a fish coming up out of the water, standing on land. Um, I hear exercise. Standing on land to tell you to tone your, you're so beautiful. <laughs> swear that's the energy i'm feeling a fish coming up out of the water and it's standing on its tail you know it's standing on the end the tail it's the end of its its tail and it's telling you like tone down you're just why are you so glowing so i don't know if you're whatever you're doing on land it's attracting someone from the sea so you could be like i don't know water earth sign like i said it's kind of silly and funny some i'm telling you a messenger is coming and this could be this message right to, to say with the page of ones like why you have to be so beautiful it all it just feels like i don't know it's something divine it could be about your dreams or this spirit but this fish had to come tell you something and I, it's not bad energy it's gonna like compliment you but at the same time it's kind of uh, making you aware of what's been going on in your surroundings and how you the energy you're giving off of it's so much so like people could be dreaming about you is the energy so much so that if a fish had to come out of the water to come tell you it's so strange you're the king of that the king of wands like a lot of people you're manifesting and a lot of people are attracted to you and i'm feeling like a lot of people want to to um a lot of people want to get your attention they're still like caught up in your energy but some of them are not on your level because you're empress and they're king of wands energy right now and they feel upset because they feel like they're supposed to be able to possess you or talk to you um but you seem to be like i don't know they just i don't know i don't know they just seem angry maybe they're not getting your attention or someone is not getting your money if you're a masculine energy and for some of you this is a parent this is these are family members that are upset with you for being you um in some way but like i said someone is really 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 attracted to you and they come into like they want to plant seeds they're invigorated but mind your energy because there's also a new person coming for you the one okay and yeah so imagine um you're surrounded by multiple people and the, then the one shows up to, to rescue you from them so imagine this movie where um a man is surrounded by multiple brides who want to marry him but maybe this is not married this is you know multiple brides who want to marry him and then the one bride now that is probably more suitable for him shows up in a car and like so they get in and they pull off together you know that's the energy you are surrounded by right now so it may be very intense with the amount of people surrounding you like giving you attract um attracted to you 
giving you attention but the one person is gonna pull up she may be a he or she may be a bride or a groom too you know but this is like the special one that is coming to pull you out of the the, the heat and the tension okay yeah or out of um danger yeah the ten of the ten of wands danger and the death card oh my gosh Oh my gosh so we have what if wants energy so fire passion lust desire surrounding you yeah but you're protected by like the lizards i'm getting something about the reptilian or your blood or your genes or your your, your i don't know the spirit family of yours they are here for you they tell you the truth like that fish out of water okay so maybe you're yeah, the ten of wands may also be like you look you're very attractive, you could be shy. Yeah, this is the energy I was feeling of someone breaking barriers to come speak with you, to come give you their attention. Alright. Um yes, with the death card and someone wants a new beginning with you, but you're also going through your own transitions right now. And I feel like you're not going back. Like you've already made it up to where you are. So someone is going to have to come up to your level is the energy. Mm -hmm. But someone is really wanting a new beginning. And this person, they feel upset with with me. or um, They feel upset. I guess they're upset with you. But they're coming around to speak with you. So like I said, this could be a parent as well. Because they're giving me that dominant energy where they feel like... I hear gaslight. So where they feel like they're, they're possessive over you in some way, shape or form. But you seem to be you seem to be moving according to your own will and desire. Okay, so the six of wands is a confirmation that someone is for sure wanting to show up. Maybe a phone call. Yeah, this person is jealous. All right, and this could be a husband or ex-husband, Queen of Swords, that you may have stopped communicating with. But they want you. Someone wants you back. They want your time. I'm feeling like this person, they're seeing your value now. And I'm also feeling to say that this person, they, they put someone before you. They chose someone over you and not, and they feel regretful about that now. And so they want to come in with this. Like they're determined and they, they're passionate about the connection. And they're passionate about not losing you to someone else. But this person needs to be in, like checked. Or you need to ensure that this person um has the... The right intentions and it's not because they're just controlling and possessive and not want to see you move on happily after they made a bad decision you get the gist mm -hmm. but i see you being militant here queen of swords and very protected also like super smart super conscious of yourself taking care of yourself right now and um just focused your yeah, justice yeah, yeah this is justice for you this is your justice you're so beautiful i'm getting your justice is that you're gonna get swept away by this new beautiful offer and it is gonna be in your better judgment to accept it or to move with this flow this person that is like i said you being in a crowd um of a, a flurry of people wanting to be with you and they're getting closer and closer and then one person like just drops a ladder from a, heli a helicopter and you climb up or a hot hair balloon and you just take off out of there with this new person. That's your justice. Okay? A new life of victory. Um, so you, You're protected by archangels as well. They always have your back. I'm telling you. I'm not sure. You're like an angel for real. You're an angel. You deserve to be treated right. Masculine or feminine. You deserve real love, vibrational love, because the universe loves you. The universe loves working with you, working through you, working by you, as you. You're supposed to find genuine, real love, soulmate connections. This is my North Star card where someone knows that you, you, you are theirs. You're what I've been searching for. That's what you're getting, a twin flame. But I'm getting there's someone that wanted you to stay in the rough, you know. But that's not what's up. No, you're moving. You're moving away. You're separating, and you're getting some increase. And um, this new love, like you may be getting married to this person. I feel like you're going to be spending a lot of time with them. I'm seeing strong fire energies to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your love messages, Cancer. 
as well as Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, which are air signs. And there's an air sign, maybe someone from your past, a schoolmate or an ex-friend that's like possessive of you, obsessed with you, maybe because you're not communicating with them. So I'm not sure if you can relate to that. Right? You're disconnected. You moved away. Right? I hear disheveled. You put yourself back together and I feel like you did. You accomplished a lot of things on your own. And maybe you just... You stop talking to some people or whatever. You made some good decisions because some things were stressing you out. Right? You may have gone through humiliation and like a stressful time. You know, um, people may have been lying on you too. Trying to gather up all kind of dirt on you. All these things. Okay? So you, you protected yourself. And you may have um, you may have had to go into the law to protect yourself too. All right, in this situation, and I feel like these some karmic, jealous, envious people from your past that wanted to like, because you separated, they wanted to sabotage something about your life. I hear dream. They wanted to send after you to like, um, imagine you took off and they wanted to send targets after you to, to take you down out of the air. This reading is serious. I reckon Syrian, and it may your psychic. And it, someone just does not like when you talk the truth or you're in your power because when you're like that, it feels to them like you don't really need anyone around you and you're just standing on your own. Also, the most I seeing that you've been on your own for a while and the most I want to send someone in your life. You hear me? And that's a confirmation. Ace of Cups, King of Cups energy, someone that loves you. You've been through a lot to still be loving yourself also. That is why you're about to get this beautiful dharmic justice in your favor. As you separate from these exes and past people, they're going to get their karma too. Okay? And I guess I love you. The magician. There's there something beautiful about you. Like um, maybe your skin, your, your something. And there's people that wanted to be like you. Like I said, they were trying to target you. I am not playing. I am not lying. We have the Ten of Wands. Like they wanted you to suffer and struggle and feel humiliated. They were agents against you. And it, it was multiple of them. Okay, the Death card. This is what they wished would have happened. Whether in your money or your business or your life in, in general. Okay, and they did that with magic. And they wanted to scar your beauty too. So you may have beauty scars or whatever you want to call them. That's what they wanted to put on you. These people, like someone was very devious. Right, they could laugh in your face and still trying to like compete with you. Be jealous of you and be karmic toward you. Right, and now they're upset. They're mad that you spoke the truth or you cut them off or you have boundaries. Okay, so this is a message to confirm that you're on the right path. But sometimes you may be feeling confused or in the um like a bit stuck because um of like you're wondering if you're making the right decision. That's why that little fish had to come and, and warn you about something with this death card and the ten of wands and the magician. And some things are backfiring, right? Things are backfiring. If someone wanted to take your place. But we're gonna leave these messages here. Someone wanted, yeah, someone was jealous 